For this week's clinical file, we have Janae, and Janae presents with a recent stroke and difficulty clearing the right foot during swing. The therapist plans to use electrical stimulation to improve the patient's gait pattern. Which of the following is the most appropriate to achieve the desired result? Um, so we have A, over the proximal anterior tibial region, stimulating the deep peroneal nerve. B is over the proximal anterior tibial region, stimulating the superficial peroneal nerve. C is over the distal anterior tibial region, stimulating the superficial peroneal nerve. And D is over the distal anterior tibial region, stimulating the tibial nerve. I'm sure you hear me laughing right now, smiling, cackling. Um, that's just a lot, man. <laughs> For those of you on the podcast, if you're on the treadmill, you probably have to rewind me or something, man. That would have been a lot to take in all at once. But let's go ahead at the top of the question, knock it down. So we got Janae presents with a recent stroke and difficulty clearing the right foot uh, during swing. Now, we know that this is very common in patients with a stroke, all right? Oftentimes, it's a, a cerebral stroke, right? Uh, MCA stroke is most common. You got ACA, you got PCA. You've got a lot of different types of stroke. Um, and then oftentimes, they are going to have hemiparesis. One side of their body um, goes flaccid, and then over time, it, it, it turns into spasticity and so forth, right? Okay, cool. One of the major dysfunctions that they have, impairments, is the inability to clear that foot during swing. So I like that this first sentence is talking about that. It makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and these patients typically fall a lot or trip a lot because they're having difficulty clearing that foot. So that makes a lot of sense to me. Let's continue down the question. It says the therapist plans to use electrical stem to improve the patient's gait pattern. The, patient, the therapist plans to use electrical stem to improve the patient's gait pattern. Now, I'm not talking about, and this question isn't talking about just basic TENS, right, or, or IFC, or even Russian for that matter. We're, we're really talking about using uh, NMES or Russian stem, yes, but in a functional way, and we call it functional electrical stimulation, right? Um, and there's specific parameters that we use for it and so forth. So yes, it is neuromuscular electrical stimulation or NMES, but since we're using it functionally, we call it functional electrical stim. So the last sentence in the question says, which of the following is the most appropriate to achieve the desired result? Well, what's the desire? Hold on. Before we look at the answer choices, let's go back to this question and really understand what it's asking. It's really asking, like when we're placing this functional electrical stimulation on the patient, where is going to be the best placement in order to get the optimal result or the desired result, which is clearance of the foot? Well, before I look at the answer choices again, what do we need to clear the foot? What action, what joint motion do we need? Should be saying, well, I definitely need some dorsiflexion. Can we go a step further than that? Can you tell me, all right, what muscle is involved in that? What's the primary one? There's a few of them that can do dorsiflexion, but what's the primary muscle? You should be saying anterior tib, baby, anterior tib all day. So anterior tib does dorsiflexion. I really want to wake that muscle up, get it contracting. And now I'm looking for which answer choice is going to allow for me to stimulate that muscle the best and allow for that contraction. So for those of you on the podcast, let me go through the answer choice again. A, we have over the proximal anterior tibial region, stimulating the deep peroneal nerve. B is over the proximal anterior tibial region, stimulating the superficial peroneal nerve. C is over the distal anterior, to anterior tibial region, oh my gosh, stimulating the superficial peroneal nerve. And then D is over the distal anterior tibial region, stimulating the tibial nerve. Think about that for a minute. So before I start knocking down the answer choices, one extra question. We already know that it was anterior tib we wanted to contract. We already know it's dorsiflexion that we needed. What is the nerve that then innervates the anterior tib? That's really what it's coming down to right now. Do you know the nerve? 
that uh, innervates that muscle. So A says over the proximal anterior tibial region, stimulating the deep peroneal nerve. I love this answer because I know that the deep peroneal nerve innervates the anterior tip. Write that down on your notes. I know some of y'all were stuck there. You're like, ooh, I can't remember. Is it superficial or is it deep? You need to be ready for this on the MPTE, baby. This is one you definitely need to know, all right? Deep peroneal nerve innervates anterior tib. That's the reason why I like this answer. I also like it because it says over the proximal anterior tibial region. Have you ever seen a bio nest unit? You know, it's one of the cuffs. It's the uh, functional electro stem unit um, that, that we use oftentimes for patients with foot drop. Yeah, where does that go? Where do we put that around the patient? You should say in that anterior tibial region. That's where it goes in that, that proximal area. Um, and so that's where the cuff goes around. And that's exactly where I would want to stimulate that nerve in order to contract the anterior tip. I'm going to put a check mark next to it for now. Let's look at the rest of the answers. B says over the proximal anterior tibial region. I love it. All that sounds good. Proximal and anterior tip, great. It says stimulating the superficial peroneal nerve. Hmm. I don't like this answer. You want to know why? Not because of the first part, but because of the second part, this superficial peroneal nerve. What is that nerve innervate? Should be thinking, okay, well... Yeah, it innervates some everters. What are those everters called? Yeah, peroneus longus, peroneus brevis. They're everters, but what do they also do? What does peroneus brevis and longus also participate in? Plantar flexion. Ooh, watch those, right? Because if we got a lot of activation of those muscles, yeah, they're going to do some eversion, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Because eversion does help to shorten the limb. So I like that, but it plantar flexes the angle. I don't want that. I don't want to stimulate that superficial peroneal nerve because if I get more plantar flexion, it's going to make this situation worse. I'm going to put an X next to it. Let's look at C. C says over the distal anterior, uh, anterior tibial region. C just doesn't like me right now. All right. Um, C just doesn't like me. It says over the distal anterior tibial region, stimulating the superficial peroneal nerve. So here's the thing. If I were to do this, what I would be stimulating is the superficial peroneal nerve as per this answer. We said the superficial peroneal nerve was what? It is the, come on, y'all help me out here. It's going to be, yeah, the, the proteus longus and brevis. So here's the thing. I don't want to stimulate that, that muscle or those muscles. I want to stimulate the anterior tip. So I'm going to go ahead and put an X next to it for now. Let's look at D. Let's look at D. D says over the distal anterior tibial region, stimulating the tibial nerve. All right. Well, first of all, I know I don't want to be in that distal anterior tibial region. I don't want to be there. All right, I need to be in that proximal area, so I already don't like D, but also it says stimulating the tibial nerve. And can you tell me what does the tibial nerve innervate? Come on, what does it innervate? Should be saying to me, yeah, getting into the plant, or really the major plantar flexors, your gastroc, your soleus, all of that good stuff. All right, all of those plantar flexor muscles. And if we innervate those or if we stimulate them, it is going to create a bigger issue. It's going to create plantar flexion. Person's not going to be able to clear the foot. Therefore, D is not the correct answer. All right. So that leaves us tonight with our final answer of A, over the proximal anterior tibial region, stimulating the deep peroneal nerve. Boom. All right. So for this question, we did need to know a bit about functional electrical stem. We did need to have an understanding of what are this the nerve that innervates the anterior tib and, and all of that good stuff in order to get this muscle to contract. The person was having difficulty clearing their foot during swing, so we know we needed dorsiflexion, all right? But here's the thing. When we pull this question apart, what is it really asking you for? The only thing it's really asking you for is, can anybody tell me? I mean, it's just really asking you for what is the motion that needs to happen to fix this situation, which is dorsiflexion? What's the muscle that does it? Anterior tib, you know that. And then on top of that, what is the nerve that then innervates it? 
deep peroneal nerve. A is the only answer that has deep peroneal nerve in it. So if we just knew the innervation of the anterior tip, it would be all day A all day long. All right. So it really came down to you just understanding what is the nerve that innervates the anterior tip. And I expect these types of things to come up on the IPTE as well, where it, it, if you really pull apart the question, it's, it's actually fundamental. They're really just asking you, what is the nerve that innervates that specific muscle or tissue or whatnot? All right. And so if you ever get stuck, that is my Coach K advice strategy tip for you is to instead of like getting all flustered and confused in the question, stop for a minute. Stop. Ste take a step back from it. Look at everything and really say like, all right, from a foundational, fundamental perspective, what is this question really asking me for? And then crush it. There it is, y'all. But I hate to leave you with that. I won't leave you with that. For those of you on the podcast right now, what I'm going to do is get you a cheat sheet to give you some quick facts about functional electrical stimulation to prepare you for the MPTE. So what you can do, go into the show notes, whether you're on Spotify, iTunes, Ghana, wherever you're at, go into the show notes, click the link in there and get your cheat sheet. 